Obamacare? Or? Yeah. Well, they keep, make, they keep making up different things. Yes. Uh, that, that's yes. The they don't want poor folks to get no medical attention or food or anything. They want to make us think about the government. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, they... So how about it, Mark? Sure. Well, one of the, one of the things that um, that's happening right now is the uh, the Republicans are, are still trying to get the president and Democrats to negotiate in the situation that they've created. Um, and President Obama has insisted that he won't negotiate under these circumstances. So what we have to do is uh, consider to, to uh, continue to keep pressure on our elected Democrats and on the president to, to hold, up, hold on that um, commitment. Don't negotiate with them over this. Um, even if they, you know, want to move the, the default deadline back six weeks, anything like that, don't do it. Um, even make payment sure that, on the debt. Right, make sure that they reopen the government before anything. Just like the president's been saying, before anything's talked about, you need to reopen the government because right now there's 800,000 workers that aren't being paid, while the congressmen that shut down the government <laughs> are being paid. That's oh, fundamentally not right. Right. <laughs> um, and, and there's a Democrat that uh, is in Congress that has a bill uh, um, that he wants to enter, that has introduced it. And when they reopen the government, they should be able to, all, all members of uh, Republicans and Democrats should be able to pass this, um, where it would make sure that if this shutdown ever happened again in the future, uh, elected officials would not receive a paycheck during the shutdown. Because no. that would, would make sure <laughs> that this isn't used as a tactic in the future. Mm -hmm. Because there's been countless Republicans, uh, congressmen that have been talked to and said, well, why aren't you, you yeah. know, get donating your paychecks right now to charity or anything like that? Well, well, I've got mortgages, I've got a house payment, I've yeah, got a, so do all, well, so do all the mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. people that they laid off. And also, not, in, not only that, but there's programs um, where people aren't even federal workers, but they rely on these federal programs and they're not being able to get that assistance that they need. Well, so, any of the national parks, a lot of them have concessionaires. Right. There's an article about the, the, the Grand Canyon. There's like 2,200 people who work there, and they're all stuck there, quite literally stuck there. They're having to, to, to have food pantry bring them some food. Yeah. <laughs> well, right, and, 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 and there's situations so even sometimes where uh, Republican governors have, thank you, Republican congressmen have even said, um, and you may have seen videos on this online about um, confrontations, you know, wanting to get into a, a World War II memorial. Oh. And why, yeah. why can't I get in here and stuff? Well, because mm -hmm. you shut down the government, that's why. Mm -hmm. And, you know, them not getting, you know, what their shutdown actually meant. Um, you know, and the fact that when, mm -hmm. you know, when they I mean thought that shut was down, they mean really shut down. ironic. Mm -hmm. Right. It, it, so, the first day it was two Republicans who were there. Mm -hmm. So, so mm -hmm. kind of our, our job as citizens is kind of twofold. One, you know, in this area we have a Republican congressman. So name him. Uh, <laughs> and uh, Adam Kinzinger. And if you go a little so, bit that way, Holker. And Holker. You can and, do and both. Randy it's Holker. County, why so not? really, what we need to do is um, everybody in your organization, everybody in our organiza organization, need to make phone calls um, to their offices in Washington and to their district office, just saying that. You know, it's been long enough. It's time to open up the government and make sure that these employees can get back to work, and we can, uh, we can, you know, start to sensibly talk about how we move forward as a country, not under these circumstances of holding the country hostage. Um, you know, think really those letters that I get on email that I sign on to, do they do any good? Don't, uh, don't do those. Those they don't do any good. Well, actually, what what they end up doing is sometimes getting you on a block list. <laughs> um, so don't do that. Um, like sync progress, I'm right? On yeah. All the black so those, so, so really, it, it's it. sending a personal email uh, to them, not a you know, electronic petition. If you do a handwritten petition or you sign a petition that way, that's effective. That's good. But if it's one of these online, click here to right. they that that just kind of basically gets you on a list of oh they're gonna they they look at you as spam. When, when you do those kind of things. Good point. Oh, okay. um, so it's sending a personal email. Or handwritten letter. letter. Postcards. Postcards better. Yeah, cause postcard. Not letter, because postcards. Ah, they're easy through. to right. read. Yeah, right? po they've got to look at it. Oh, but, yeah. yeah. But uh, postcard, and, and again, you can send it to the district office or their Washington office or both offices. Because right? they have different staffs. 
Um, yeah, they won't always facts? get through, but there's a fax or um, What about a phone letter calls. to the editor? Uh, the paper ran big front page headlines that our congressmen are holding firm. They're being stubborn and it's called holding firm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, and, and we can... A two-year-old can hold firm, too. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And murder and land the floor and kick you know, and, and, and we can, you know, write letters to the editor, too, but the main thing will probably be just directly contacting those congressmen. Well, writing letters to the editor, hopefully, will get other people to do oh, yeah. it rather than just and and, and now they're starting to, you know, what, what's happening is as this progresses further and further, the Republicans are starting to get heat from other Republicans. You know, right. so there's Republicans saying, hey, I don't... You know, I don't run in a district that's all Republican. It can swing to a Democrat. You're basically going to cost me my job if you continue with this. You um, need to and, convince them of that. Somehow. And the, and the other thing is, uh, polling's recently showing that Republicans are at their lowest mm -hmm. uh, approval rating ever since they've started tracking that uh, in They're 1990. Down to 22 percent or something. Yeah, it's, it's down pretty low. So what's happening then is once they keep seeing all the information. And if the media keeps projecting that Republicans' approval le re records mm -hmm. level are uh, record low and Democrats aren't the ones being blamed, it's the Republicans, they're going to start to see the writing on the wall and, and start to think of an ex exit. Uh, Obama strategy. has given in in the past, hasn't he? And that's why they're holding on for so long. Bec How much is it they want to defeat Obamacare? How much is that? Well, they might have shifted a little bit, right? Well, well they're, yeah, they're, they're, said, get they're away trying from to shift a little bit. Call but, a traitor? Yeah. Well, because <laughs> they know that there's no way that they're going to defund Obamacare. That was just a, a fool's errand <clears throat> that they were doing to pump up their base. But now they're in a, a, a problem. They're in a pickle because they don't know how to get out of this shutdown. And if they just get out of it and, and do what the president wanted, then they look weak. <laughs> so they're trying to figure out a way that they can get out of it and still get something out of it. But I don't think, you know, uh, President Obama is going to give them that this time because he, he acknowledges, I believe, uh, and privately they've reported on this, that he made a mistake last time in uh, negotiating with them. And he feels like if he if he buckles now, and if he negotiates with them over the shutdown, he'll lose the rest of the space. Not only, well, no, but the main thing is, it's for the next president, too. You know, this type of tactic will then continue on to whoever's president next. Whether it's a, you know, probably whether it's a Democrat or even a Republican, too. Um, you know, Congress will see it as an effective method to negotiate, and it shouldn't be. You think we'll get a, a Democratic Congress? Uh, and but well, the polls are also showing that <laughs> it's ch chances yeah. chances now are, are increased. So we have a chance of picking up seats that they didn't project us to pick up because of the shutdown. So. Are you all th getting some good candidates? Yes, from locally we're getting good can candidates. Yeah. We are getting good candidates to run for local offices. What? <laughs> Gonna talk about you? Oh, <laughs> who do we got? Well, um, for <laughs> the 16th me, district, we have um, we have a uh, um, individual that has stepped up. Um, you know, it's going to be uh, you know a, a long road for him. But again, the shutdown might help um, his chances. And again, I'm I'm blocking Randall the name right. Olson. Randall Olson, thank you, Jim. I had Randall to the minutes. That's why I remember. Yeah, Randall Olson. Mm. So he's running in the 16th. Is that Hulkins? No, no uh, that's, that's in Kinsey. Oh, Kinsey. Kinsey. Where does he live? And um, he lives Ottawa? Uh, in Ottawa. Yeah. Ottawa. So is he representing me? Yes. Yes, he would be representing. He's he's running in the same congressional seat that Wanda Roll ran. So he's running, and then um, Dennis Anderson's running again against Hulkins in the 14th. In the 14th. So. You know, the 14th, aren't we? Yeah, no, no we're 16th we now. I used to be 14th. Yes, yes we did. No, they moved well, they, they, they split it. And Kinsley? Cut the county in half. Yeah. But, yeah, um, so yeah, and we've, yeah, got, be him. we've got Jim Lukey here that's running for county board in District 9. Well, once I get moved. Once he gets moved, so that'll be great. <laughs> um, we've got... I have to move and then I'll do it. Yeah, well, we've got... Uh, Where Mont are you moving to? Sycamore Road. A house up here in Sycamore Road, foreclosing, just in the process of finishing things up. So, once that's pinned down, then we'll go So, uh, what about letters to the editor? So, letters to the editor, you, you can do those if you want to, um, just to kind of, um, you know, get the word out locally to everybody. Um, there you go. But, but, but again, um, most effective would probably be direct contact to the congressman. But if we can drum Someone up some had people. a letter in and said when she tried to call them, did you see that? Yeah, I remember. It? it was the article. 
Uh, Suzanne Kraft. She was a uh, member, is a member of a First Lutheran. She was her husband's pastor, a retired pastor. And she mentioned, yeah, she couldn't get through. So yeah, anything we could do to, yeah, inspire people to call, fax and postcards, make a nice clear message. It isn't fine print, <laughs> so they have to actually read it. Would it help if we had a, a sample letter at the network steering committee meeting tomorrow morning, which I sure. hope you'll all try to come to? Yep. And we all signed it, or whoever wanted to signed it. Well, probably a postcard be better. Individual postcard. postcard. Would go direct. Right. Well, I was not thinking either no. or, but both and. I mean, a letter, I guess, okay, if you sent it to district office, you'll have to worry about well, letters. She's about, about sending paper. it to the editor. Yeah, she's oh. talking about oh, okay. okay. Get others. So you could do one as an organization, yeah. you could do one in, ones individually, whatever you'd like. Would someone be willing to bring a draft of one to the meeting tomorrow? <laughs> do you think it's going to persist? I, I, the, the, the stuff I'm getting in the newspaper implies that they're not, well, they won't fix it permanently, which is what I would urge, but that they will... Kick it down the road. Yeah, kick it down the road. The, the, the Republicans are meeting tonight to try to figure out something because the Senate Republicans are trying just to move forward with something without the House. Oh. They, they want to try to do their own thing, um, and the House wants to come up with something before the Senate tries to just step in and try to do well, it. The Senate can't do anything about the budget, but the Senate right. can do something about the, uh, the debt. Not without the House helping. No, no, it, no but they can both. start it. Yeah. But, they, but the Senate cannot start the budget. It's right. got to start in the House. I also heard a little bit that Nancy Pelosi is working with 20 on 22 Republicans to bring them over to take out Boehner and then just pass things. Well, that's what, that was the other is question. Why is Boehner wrong? being so insistent on having he a majority of house. Republicans to pass? In other words, he could pass anything yeah. he wants yeah. because there's he enough could. moderate Republicans and Democrats that he could pay. But, but he's, he's right now he's saying that they don't have the votes, but he refuses to call. Well, that's what I mean. Why, yeah, call it to vote. why is he continuing yeah. to do it? <clears throat> Who is this? Because he? Boehner. Because he doesn't he doesn't want to lose, and he's he's holding to the it's called they call it the, the Haster rule. rule. Yes. Where it, if, even mm -hmm. don't bring anything to the floor if you don't have a majority of oh, Republicans that support. It. Right. So. And Hastert even disclaimed it, saying, I never said that was a rule. <laughs> right. Oh, uh, really? So, yeah. That was last so week. So it's a Hastert's rule with you. Yeah. <laughs> Denny won't claim. Named in, in his honor. <laughs> <laughs> so, so again, my, my hope is that this nonsense ends quickly, but they could drag it out up until the day of the default. Because so many of these Republicans when, what think day is that, that? 17, well, 17th. probably the middle of October. But as somebody has pointed out, the government takes in more than enough money every month mm -hmm. to pay the interest on the debt, and and I I I, I agree. That's surplus money that they can. No, the interest government is payment. making money all the time because people are paying taxes all the time. Mm -hmm. And so and it's funding programs with that money. Well, the debt's different, but they are allowed to pay the debt. That this has nothing to do with over, funding a program. Over and beyond. But but right now we're seeing where um, you know would the well, government you know, they, really go into default? Right. I don't. The, the, I don't there's know a lot of those billionaires that supported Republicans that are really urging them behind the scenes to stop yeah. this nonsense. The bankers get, don't like this crap. Get the government back. <laughs> the Koch so. brothers have allegedly said this isn't their fight either. Right. Oh, they really? signed letter on their oh, letterhead really? that came out in Tom Hartman a day or so ago. On their letterhead, one of their lawyers said this isn't our fight. We never urged anybody to shut down the government and go default in debts. Oh, my, they my, my. disagreements about policies, but they never agree, urge the people to do that. So their 50 little pawns are what, <laughs> doing this all on yeah, their own. they're all doing their own. To be honest, I think they're probably all in Boehner's situation where they've gotten this far and they can't back they can't down. Back mm -hmm. so, and there are some where they just don't care. They're standing yes, principle. Yes, no, there are some. And people. government's bad, and we've got to shut it down because government's bad. And yeah. sort of thing, why the hell did you run, Jackass? But that's okay. So I would say on the steering committee, we can encourage people to make phone calls on Monday when uh, they're back in their offices. Oh, yeah. And, um, you know, we can leave a message if we need to, too. But and what about us all offices. signing a letter to the editor? Try to get some of our fellow citizens to do likewise. Let me see what I can put together tonight. I don't know. 
I've been putting example. together a ton of stuff okay. lately. Let me see what I can put together. Why don't you do it? have to put it together. Okay. Well, that's what I figured I might be putting it together tonight. Democrats got their mints already. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the the okay. Well, All thanks right, well, a lot. Thank you, Mark. All right, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. So we don't have Howard. Do we want no. to try?